Uh, Fritz just kind of like unzones out and just looks at you both. What? Oh, you're back. I'm ass. <laughs> what the fuck are you? What? Why did I just get called a dumbass? Uh, that's for you to figure out. Shut up, Twink. So uh, what are we doing? I'm kidding. <laughs> I want to kick him. <laughs> Zero. Uh, Irene, you kick him. Um, and his body does not move. I don't want to leave without this guy. Or I don't know. I'm guessing you're gonna make me carry him. Do I look like? Okay. No, you don't look like you could. No, you don't look like you could carry him. I don't look like I can carry anything. <sighs> Maybe like a a small sword or a dagger, or like a very lightly crafted bow. That's what I have. Um. <laughs> you can stab him with a pocket knife again. If what the if, fuck is wrong with you and trying to kill everything? Can we not stab I, the hot dude, please? Okay, I so knew you were gay. I fucking knew you were gay. Shut the fuck up. I'll kill you. <laughs> Good luck. Let's, um... Uh... I don't really think we should be cave delving with a person that's unconscious, so I think we should take a break for a little bit. There's no harm in just camping outside the cave for a night or so. That's true. Fine. The quest has no time limit after all. Which That's is true. another another part that also makes it even more suspicious. What do you mean? No time limit? People have gone disappearing in here. It's just weird, man. I guess. Huh. Yeah, I could just be overthinking. Let's uh let's go set up camp. Alright. So y'all walk out of the cave. Do you remember the uh oh never mind. Uh uh walking out of the cave, everything seems fine and normal. Um nothing seems off or different about the outside of the cave. So what is it you guys do? Uh, set up a camp, you said? Yeah, yeah I'm going to start setting up camp. It's like a couple logs we could sit on and like a fire pit. <sighs> Excuse me. Right. You better get that Mr. Class music on, bro. I'm trying to get immersed. <laughs> yeah! Sorry, uh... Uh -huh. Oh my god, bro. <laughs> I'm sorry. I have my AirPods on. <laughs> I'm sorry, but I'm not sorry, man. Um, Y'all find yourselves dead. <laughs> I'm kidding. Oh, man. <laughs> Carter's a twink. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh my god, bro. I love that that's not a slur. I love that that is not offensive. <sighs> okay. Um, setting up camp, y'all find yourselves very calm and peaceful as the night goes by without any form of incident. Uh, y'all wake up about Seven hours later, bright and early, the sun is shining in the sky. Um, so, uh, the only people that are awake right now are you three, uh, including Fritz. So just the three of you. The the mimic dude's still the the mimic dude's still out. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's that's the first thing Zero decided to check is if he was awake or not. Okay. Yeah, no, he's outie. He's gone, skis. Sleeping. Fuck, man. Straight slumped. <laughs> slumped. Slumped. Yeah. I'll be right back. No, the fuck you won't.
Yeah, what that mimic do though? <laughs> so Fritz is just kind of sitting that. there. Huh? What? What? Why are you looking at me like that? I'm just kind of looking past you. Really? What's behind me? I don't know. Something more interesting? You're a fucking bitch. <laughs> You're a dick. You started the shit, bro. You li He like points a finger at him. <laughs> what? You, fair you point? You have blue hair. <laughs> you have blue hair, bro. You're single. Okay. So are you. Actually, no, 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 you're not single. You're married to some bitch you don't want to be married to. No, I, I, no I'm not. <laughs> yes, you are. No, I'm not. Not anymore. I pull hose, bro. What the fairy? Hey, you, think I, you think I'm so dumb I didn't notice how close y'all were? Bro, I know. It, I don't know how to feel about it. I don't know. I don't think she's the one. I'll find somebody it. else. No, not really. Yeah, good luck finding somebody with that blue hair, dumbass. <laughs> I heard everything. I still have my AirPods on, even if I'm muted. Yeah, I'm more interested in the changeling, not gonna lie. Hey, yo! I'm, I'm kidding. <laughs> I know! I waited for you. <laughs> I don't know, I'm pretty sure that owl tier and we saw earlier was totally into you, bro. Should look into it. Honestly, smash, but no. <laughs> what is wrong with you? <laughs> I come from a race of celestials and was rejected by my family, dude. I got daddy and mommy issues. Like, the fuck? I have sibling issues, bro. I got all of that shit. Wow, welcome to the club, man. <sighs> issues. Yeah. I'm surprised they haven't came for me. Yeah, well, at least you're lucky there. Huh? We're in the middle of buttfuck nowhere now because my family decided to try to hunt me down. <laughs> They're probably going to find out where we are. They probably already know. He Wait, rolls when his were you... eyes and just kind when... of crosses his arms. When were you born again? 17 years ago. You were born on the 3rd, right? Yeah. I don't know how it is at <laughs> first time. That's in... Whoa! 1, 2, 3, 4, 5... 6, 7, 8 days. He's yes. watching his wisp fight a rhinoceros beetle. That's funny. <laughs> They're just like going ham on each other. Your wisp is like low key getting its ass kicked, but it's not actually taking damage. <laughs> <clears throat> well, it's bright and early in the morning, so do you guys want to get going? What about waking this guy up? Yes, I'm very fixated on this I mean, male. I, I carried him out of the cave. Where would we well, even take him? He's the reason I'm. He, I'm the reason he's still alive. So. That's true. I was unconscious. Yeah, and otherwise I would have kicked him. No mercy. Yes, I know that. <gasps> yeah, you need to learn mercy, child. Is no. he gonna become like a character, bro? Like, what do you say, Zero? Is he gonna become like a character? What this dude? Yeah. No. Oh man. He's an NPC. Uh.
Fritz he, he's just kind of hot though. Fritz just throws him over his shoulder. Okay, look, <laughs> Zero, I know that you're bisexual. Stop. Uh, dude, stop it. You're calling me out here in the middle of literally. The woods. Shut the fuck up. I don't want to hear anybody straight or gay talk about how hot somebody else is. It's annoying. It's obnoxious. Shut up. Shut up. Let's just go. You don't want to. You don't want to hear funny. anybody straight or gay? Okay, buddy. What? Wow. <laughs> what were you saying, Irene? That's funny coming from you. What do you mean, funny coming from me? What's that supposed to mean? Smash? Yeah? You don't think it's I forgot about that? Gay. <laughs> Smash? Oh, shit, yeah. <laughs> I was talking about the bird girl. I'm telling you, you do not want to put it in an owl tear in. Don't tell me what I do and don't want to do. You don't know me. <laughs> Maybe I do. And I probably shouldn't do that. Though, with any human or You, you, re you really, humanoid. really shouldn't. I'm gonna be real with you. I shouldn't do that with any humanoid, I'm not gonna lie. What does that even mean? Uh, no idea. <laughs> I want a dragon. Huh? I want a dragon. No, celestials have um a, a certain property in their blood that causes actual madness in a human being, or anything that has human blood in it. Yeah, that's hot. Anyway, <laughs> that's crazy. We should put this guy down. I don't feel like taking him back into the cave, so we. Just leave him <laughs> we here. just leave him out here. I thought just leave him a note or something. Leave him a note. He would have been fucking safer in the cave. Uh, all right then. We can bring him back in. <laughs> oh my gosh! Oh, this was a waste yeah, of time. I don't want to hear from you. This was Your a waste of blue. time. This was a waste of time. <laughs> <clears throat> okay. A fun waste of time. Okay. It was relaxing. Sure. I got to sleep and be lazy. <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's true. Uh. So okay. Y'all walk back into the cave. Um. The first entrance. Ow. Huh. Nothing. The, the transition was crazy. Oh my bad. <laughs> Y'all walk back into the cave. Um, remember the first entrance? Do you guys? Whether the you guys went left we or went. whether you guys went left or right? We went right. Yeah, we're gonna go further right now because like past the room with the water. Okay, so y'all just continue going right, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, continuing on right. Um. Y'all come across a third entrance. Uh, as uh, Fritz just looks over at the pond area and then looks back at you guys and just sets the dude down and says, I'm done carrying him. We'll come back for him, I guess. <laughs> this guy smells hella bad. Fuck that shit. I mean, I you like kind of smell. You still have the spit on you. Yeah, you literally smell the same. I do not smell the same. Oh! Ah! Ah! He lifts up his shirt and, like, sniffs it. <coughs> no. Absolutely not. I'm gonna take a fucking bath. He jumps in the water. What is it you guys would like to the do? water. You want to make freeze. it really cold. You want to freeze the water? <laughs> I'm gonna make it really cold. As as you're making it cold, you see Fritz just turn around, his jaw kind of shaking a little bit, and he just goes, "Ah." Oh. <laughs> what? And then gets Is out. Cool? And then gets out. No, but I better piss on him if he doesn't stop. <laughs> 
<laughs> um, as he says, okay, we can go now. Sorry for the hold up, cuh. What a hold up, cuh. Oh, he actually said cuh, bro. Shut up. <laughs> Right, let's uh let's go further into the cave. Right. <laughs> Wasted enough time because of a uh, blue hair guy over here. <laughs> You're literally a twink, bro. Okay. Shut up. <laughs> I... Dude. <laughs> what? Let's just go deeper into the cave, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's so amazing! I love your non-reaction to it. It's so funny. You, like, react to it, but you don't at the same time. That shit's gold. Okay, uh, going deeper into the cave, you walk into the tunnel and find another uh, set of entrances. Uh, one of them leads left, and the other one right. There is no middle. We're taking the left one. All right. We take the left? Right twice, bro. You're taking the le left one. What? Okay, um... As you guys continue on left, uh... Y'all come across this giant runic area. Uh... There's temples. It it's almost like a giant, uh, crimson temple in the middle of this cave. As there's pillars going around, and there's this large spirally circle... Uh, in the center. Uh, it looks almost like where a sacrificial altar would lay. Yep, not doing this. Turns back around. Fritz just says, it's inactive, there's nobody here. But, like, you oh, can just... Guess. You can just step on it and just activate. That is not how magic works. Dude, I don't trust anything that has hella runes covering it. This motherfucker got the dark- SHUT THE FUCK UP! <laughs> Dude, shut your ass up. I'm telling you, <laughs> if we go up here, a big guy is gonna- is gonna just appear. In the I'm center- you. In the center, from the middle of this bowl kind of divot area, this orb appears as it floats in the middle. Uh, this orb. This looks like what we're sent here to get. Yeah, it looks like what it looks like it. But something tells me if I lay my hands on this, I'm going to go mad. So I'm not going to touch it. I, I don't have any other form to touch it with. I'm, um, I'm in a human form. What did the person that gave you this quest look like? He's and, a changeling. Like, where did they live? He lived, there was a village not too far from here, and she was a changeling that lived in that village. How here. developed was the village? Because I don't not think anybody in a semi-primitive village would need something of this caliber for anything good. Here, uh, as Fritz, like, makes... This little red, um, sorry, blue energy, and this is what she looks like. Yeah, 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 yeah. But that's what she looks like. <coughs> you fucking drooling, bro. Oh my god. Yo! <laughs> oh my goodness. Uh... Fritz kind of looks around and starts walking up the steps as he says, I recognize this place. This is a temple for the Red Death. Yeah. So, from what I... Yes. Yeah, so, this quest is just as suspicious as I thought. What would a person in that village need with something that's correlating with the Red Death? What is the Red Death? I've never heard of it. The Red Death is an old ancient entity that spreads its plague across the the world of Emmet. It only comes about once every 1,000 years, and it only goes away whenever it's killed. Well, killed, technically. Um, 
it's one of the most violent entities that we've ever seen. It's hard to know. Hey, Fritz. Yeah. You, uh... Wait, hold on. I actually, I actually forgot what I was going to say. No, the but... Red Death is one of my descendants. Your descendants? Yeah. What do you mean by your descendants? Um, all of the Celestials were required to put their energies into the universe um, in order to create the foundations of it. The Red Death was spawned from one of my energies. And one of the energies hey, of Fritz. my father, Death. Yeah. You remember when we buried that claw because we didn't want it getting into the wrong hands? <sighs> yeah, what about it? This is the same situation. This is an item called a demon orb. But you er, know what it does? A demon heart. Uh, yeah, it gives a, a bunch demon. of different effects. Does it... What, if, what effects does it have if someone were to just touch it? Uh, nothing. Uh, you can touch it fine. Um, it's when you I'm eat. grabbing it. Okay. Uh, Carter, you grab the demon heart, and here, now you can get the effects. Now you can, like, understand the effects. For some reason, whenever you touched it and grabbed it, you kind of understood that, um, everything it was capable of, as it's, like, begging you to consume it. As, uh, he says, like I said, uh, when you consume it, that's where the issues start. It has one of eight effects. All of these can have consequences. Get all those effects? No, you can get one of those eight, and all of them have consequences. Convert you to a... Yeah, I definitely don't want to change my race. Yeah, I'm not eating this. I kind of just stash it away, because easily resisting the effects. Uh, yes. Yeah, if I were to touch it, I would not resist. Do you want it, Irene? I mean, it's up to zero. He owns it now. I mean, I kind of have... It. Well, fine. Fuck. I, I kind of have, like, a curse I'm dealing with right now, so I don't know if it's gonna, amp like, amplify it. Uh, if you get an extra curse, it would only add on to the curse. Your no. curse? Yeah, long story short, um, this person, I took over this curse, and if, if, um, I don't find this specific artifact, uh, I will turn into a fiend. A lower level dark run. Yeah. Oh, I guess we got what we came for. And it doesn't really seem like the effects of this can do anything too bad. But the thought that this has something to do with the Red Death in this altar kind of makes me uneasy. I Maybe just the... want to know how... On... Sorry? I just want to know how on earth did she obtain it? Maybe she didn't. What if she knew I about it? I want to know how this... Huh? How this orb got here. Is it possible that she knew about it and just didn't know how to get to it? So she kept on sending different adventurers? I guess, but I mean, like... She could be the person that set up the thing, and... I don't know. Maybe. Zero. Oh. Do you think we should go get that, um, the claw that I buried? What's that? And find a better spot for it? Or you keep think it. think somebody's gonna find it? The 
Pan's items typically want to be found, and they typically call out for people. So I think if it ends up wanting to be found, then yes. I feel like the safest place for it to be is on one of us. Alright. Where is that, uh... Could we offer it to Atreus and he'd take it? Or is that not a thing they can do? Uh, the only thing I know that the Black Hand can't wield is his nail. And that's it. The nails so, are the only thing that they can that can kill them. We we can give we can give this to him. Yes. I can't imagine he would do anything bad with him <coughs> if he does. I mean, I can't really do anything against it. I'm kind of bound by contract or something, aren't I? Eh, I mean, we're just kind of under his mark. I feel like the safest place for this object to be would in would be in godly hands. Alright. This orb, though, I, I guess we can give this to the quest giver. I, I don't really... How did this come to be, though? How did these form? Demon hearts? Yes. Well, they're usually born in very high-level demons. Um, if they don't decay within 300 years, then they solidify, well, they petrify, essentially, and turn into those things. And then, um, yeah, they're formed into fully functional demon hearts. <coughs> well, if 300 years, I'm gonna go ahead and guess this altar was used for, I th I'm gonna go ahead and guess this altar has already been used, and it's Long live the king. Sorry. Yeah, centuries. Long abandoned. If this had anything to do with the Red Death, it was probably for when it last survived. But for now, I guess it's fine. You can go if you want. Just make sure to yeah. pick up the mimic on the way out. I wonder what's in the other rooms. I mean, now that we have our thing, our demon heart, I wonder what's in the other rooms. Well, we can check them out. I have nothing against it. I ain't got nothing against it. She's kind of just like listening to the, to the demon heart. Kind of like zones out of it. Yeah, it's like whispering to you. Just kind of lulling you closer. Every time you focus on it. When you're not actively touching it, you don't feel drawn to it, except for when you listen. He doesn't seem like <coughs> he's gonna actually like use it or anything, but he kind of just like... Listens to what it tells him. It's hard to like fully here but um uh you guys go check out the other rooms which room do you uh go check out first um we can check out the room next to the red room next to the what wait but isn't the isn't the right tunnel closer to us yeah wait the, that's the red room's in the middle right you guys no, are at the third entrance not the second one oh. yeah, there was the Paths, so <coughs> put on the right one this time because this was the left one. Yeah. So where do you guys go? We're going right. We're going back up the tunnel and then down the right path this time. Going yeah. up the tunnel and down the right path, y'all hear something breathing, uh, in the distance. Uh, a giant sleeping creature that looks like this. Oh, that's no bueno. Oh, hell no. Nah. How much health does that thing have? Uh, Irene, you know that that is a leviathan. An earth leviathan. Hello. Uh, <clears throat> so, this is an earth leviathan? We don't want to piss it off. Leviathans are normal. 
I'm gonna go ahead and guess that there's nothing in here that we need. So... This is just a lair. So I'm gonna go and leave, and you guys can keep looking at it. He's gonna, he's gonna like, walk away. Fritz follows. Irene stares at the earth and right then for a little bit before following. Okay. Well, I guess we gotta leave because Fritz is too scared to fight the Leviathan. <laughs> You're funny. Okay, just make sure to pick up the mimic guy on the way out. Yep. Uh, Y'all go down, Gull, up to the second entrance, which you already explored the mimic room. The middle has been unexplored, and the right uh, you guys came from. It wasn't, wasn't, wasn't the middle, wait, okay, wasn't the, there was the red room, the middle, which was the mimic, and then there was the right path, right? Uh, no, the mimic was on the left, and the red room is the middle. Oh, the red room is the middle, okay. Yeah. I don't know if I want to go through this. I'm going to be can, genuinely honest with you. We can leave, I mean, the cave isn't going to go anywhere. Well, if I don't want if I don't want one person going through it, it's you because, well, yeah, you got a lot of uh, that, and yeah. Yeah. What does that mean? I don't like humans. Oh yeah. So. Mm. Should I guess I could take a peek. Should me and um, Zero go, or should we just not go at all? I kind of just want to see what's behind it. Like, what's, what's mm -hmm. behind the door? I could take a peek. You can. If you <coughs> do decide to go in, I can just watch the body. Yeah. Alright. Me and uh, Zero are going to go then. Yeah, watch the carcass. As you walk down, it slowly gets hotter. Not in unbearable heat, but it's definitely getting warm. Uh, do you continue down? Yeah, I'm gonna continue down. Uh, going down, you stumble across these... This long room of people chained up. Uh, you kind of, like, pass over this gate. It's this long, white void, and in the center there are these pillars going up, and these people, these beautiful, almost perfect-looking people are chained, um, and they seem to be tortured. Fritz just says, oh, shit, I know where we're at. And it covers his mouth in disgust from, like, the sight. Yeah, we should probably go, like, yesterday. <laughs> yeah, you'll tell me what this is later. Let's get the hell out of here. Yeah. Uh. Uh. Irene, you, uh, see Zero and Fritz walked out, walk out with an extremely disturbed expression on their face. It seems like whatever they stumbled in there, whatever they stumbled across, for only the moment they were gone, Fucked them up really bad. You guys look like you saw a ghost. Uh, it's much worse than a ghost. Oh, now I'm curious. I should have went. I should have went in. No, you should not. Zero seems to be able to like go back to normal really f quickly, but he's probably not recovered. He's just probably acting. Let's move the campsite a little further away from the cave. How about that? <laughs> what do you say? How is it so close say, to Fritz? the overworld, though? Fritz definitely knows something, as he's just, like, kind of staring at that entrance. Well, explain as we leave the cave, please. Sure. Make sure to pick up the dude. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Uh, walking out of the cave, Fritz begins to explain that was a section of the underworld. Hell, essentially. Uh, the uppermost part of the underworld that's called the Chains of Despair. 
It's where my siblings and other certain people, after they die, are go are go there to be tortured for eternity by the one above all's direct sons and daughters. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and guess that there's not anything that we can do in there to save anybody in there, considering the fact that they're facing their eternal damnation. Yeah. You know what? I, I just I just realized something. Huh. Actually, I'm curious. So, if we have what's it called again? The the demon core. The demon heart, yeah. Demon heart, yeah. It's. I just feel like something's connecting with like the quest, the demon heart, which is coincidentally by the. Um, by the red room part of hell well it does all connect it just uh missing spaces it connect, when the puzzle pieces are put together the end piece is kind of just l itself that we found i don't think there's anything else we can really take from that we just found hell a section of it one where no mortals exist. Everybody in that room was more immortal. Completely. Oh, until now, I'm gonna go ahead and guess that we got noticed when we were in there. Probably. How long has it been since a mortal was in there? Not since... I don't know. I don't remember how long. I'm gonna go ago, ahead and guess but it was something knows time. about it. And huh? something is not happy about us being in there. Uh, you hear something come up from behind you guys. Uh, it seems like something walked out of the gate. I'm gonna immediately summon an ice spear and hold it because he's like very on edge. As this man walks out, his face is on fire, though, and your ice spear melts. As he just looks over at you guys. He oh, seems to be mad-dogging Fritz. Okay, Fritz, it Super. looks like he got a admirer or something. Fritz's eyes are kind of wide as he steps back a little bit. This man says, what was your business in the underworld? He's talking to you, Zero. <clears throat> well, I didn't really have any business in there. I kind of ended up in there by accident. Why was the abomination? You've got a little bit of a breach. Excuse me? You've got a little bit of a breach. I understand that. There's gates everywhere, but why was the abomination in there? The As what? he points to Fritz. He points to Fritz with somewhat of a disgust, in a way. I don't... Abomination? I'm not really his master or anything. I don't... Why did you two go in there? I didn't know what was in there. There was a quest, and... Yeah. If I can tell you for sure that if I knew that what was in there, then I wouldn't have walked in there. So you stumbled in there on accident. Correct. Yep. His eyes glow purple as he looks at you. As you see your body kind of glow purple... Um, and Fritz's does as well. And so does yours, Irene. As he says, fine. <sighs> if you find another underworld gate, do not go in there with him. Was anything what, left so behind? you're saying I can go in there alone? You and the mortal can, yes. 
but do not go in there with him. I uh, don't think I'll be going in there anytime soon, so don't worry about me or him going in there. Did you guys leave anything behind? No. I don't think so. Good. As he turns away in a this bright uh, display of blue fire uh, circles around him as he disappears. He was pretty hot. I mean, literally, <laughs> but... Fritz uh, just kind of, like, walks out of the cave and picks up the dude. You guys ready to go? Yeah. Yeah, I'm, uh... I'm ready to go. Uh, Fritz nods and starts walking. Um, what is going through uh, Zero's head right now? He's kind of zoning out again, listening to the thing talk to him. Uh, and Irene, what's going through her head? Um, just trying to figure out, just kind of connecting. <coughs> um, first off, she looks at Fritz and is like, what does he mean by abomination? And, like, should she be worried, weary about him? Why don't you talk in character, partner? You're right, you're right. Just thinking, <laughs> looking and thinking. Oh, okay, so that's what, what she's thinking. Yeah. Why don't you talk in character, partner? Now listen here, why don't you talk in character, man? Okay? That shit would make it so much easier, okay? You need to talk okay. in character, okay? <laughs> the MK okay is yeah, on that point. Guy kinda, <laughs> that guy kind of reminded me of Hades from the, that Hercules, animated Hercules movie. <laughs> With like the blue fire and stuff. Blue fire is a trademark of demon fire. It's called demonic fire. Dude. Yo, he was like, yo, straight up though. He was hot. No, is that what you're gonna say? He was hot. <laughs> no kizzy. No. <laughs> no kizzy, no slime, no slicks. Straight up. <laughs> On God, no, no I'm cap. A, I, might go back, I might go back to hell for him alone, bruh. Oh yo, my calm God. down, bucko. <laughs> calm down. Calm down, partner. Okay, fine. Um, now let's set up camp far from hell. <coughs> we don't need to set up camp. Okay. It's not even close to nighttime just yet. Oh, then we can just head to the village. Uh, I forgot. I forgot that it, it takes like. That was all. Hap that all happened in twelve minutes. I mean, you guys did kind of just walk into a cave, uh, go check out an area, and then walk back. Yeah, it didn't take that long. No, it happened. In, it happened in like twenty-six minutes. Calm down, buddy. Calm down. Yeah. Okay, buddy. You're using anime time. <laughs> <laughs> this will only take five minutes. Goku and. Freeze have been fighting for like 72 episodes. And I mean, like... they were moving at light speed, bro. Okay, buddy, I don't want to hear that fucking excuse. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but off topic, bro, can we talk about how hot that dude it was, bro? <laughs> no, I don't want to talk about Fair enough. Four hours and 13 minutes. That's how long the fight was for us. That's fucking You're crazy. Serious? Yeah, in uh, Dragon Ball uh, Z, the fight was just four hours and 13 minutes for us. Oh my god. But for them, it was five minutes. Because they were moving near light speed. Okay, so... um. 
Ugh. Uh, where is it you guys go? You go to the village. All right. We're going to the village. Going back to the village, uh, off in the distance, you notice it immediately. There's almost nothing there. It's ruined. The village is, like, no. destroyed. My funny. My funny. I'm gonna check for signs of re- I'm going to check for signs of recent damage. There are none. It seems like it's been destroyed for a very long time. Irene, are you, um... Are you sure this is the place? This is the place. This is I got my place. coins like, here. There's like plants overgrown on the buildings and... It's been like this for a really long time. This is the place. I mean, it was lively before. So odd. He kind of just stares off into nothing as the, as he like listens to the whispers again. Damn, I guess he got nothing really to do with this. Oh right, uh, Fritz says as he blink steps away for a second. You guys are left alone. Well, that sucks. Do you want to look around? I'm so pissed. I should have went back and turned in the inhibition thingy. Uh. Oh. Yeah, I guess we could look around for a bit. Lead the way. Okay. Oh, oh my gosh. <clears throat> I think it's just a clear distress scene that the commission she did earlier is just gone now. I just wanted money. I just wanted money. <laughs> Zero searches around for clues. Well, just, like, obviously the town is destroyed, but he just wants to know what, how it got destroyed. Right. Not that, it, not, it's, not that it's gonna help him do anything or guess anything, but he just wants to know. Alrighty, I'm going to use the restroom real quick. I'll be right back. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> You don't want to get started? I have scramble brain um, from being sick, bro. Trust, I'm like so straight. <laughs> I'll, I'll yeah, you're about as straight I as a circle, you twink. What'd you say? I said I'll still be on. It's just right now I'm not at home and I am about to drive back home as we speak. <laughs> I might be able to roll, but I'll still be on. Wait, wait. Did you say I'm straight as a circle? <laughs> uh, so yeah, okay, I got you, Trey. You're good. Um, Fritz is just kind of looking around as well. Uh, Fritz says to you, I, Zero, I got the claw. You got the claw. Yeah. All right. Do you um? So you were here with her too. This was a bustling village, was it not? <sighs> When we got here, things seemed a little off a little bit. Nobody was really talking and people were kind of staring at us. But like, yeah, for the most part, everything was fine. I mean, it could have been an illusion. An illusion cast by what, though? I don't... It was probably an illusion, but by what? Or by whom? Definitely not the yeah. owl tier, unless they've somehow grown an affinity for illusion magic, which can't be possible because the Tyrans only have an affinity for elemental magics. I mean, it could be that one changeling. <sighs> Changing a whole town, though. I mean, she got her hand a ancient. Or whatever demon core heart thingy demon heart. So we don't know who she is exactly. Why would they ask for this, but then not be here to retrieve it, though? No idea. Zero has 
dark circles under his eyes for some reason. It's like it's like he's being mentally drained by having to listen to the whispers all the time. Fritz just says, Zero, give me the core. The heart. He seems like he seems like oddly defensive. And like backs up a little bit. Zero, give me the heart. Fritz says. You see his hair is starting to like um like you know how fire acts? That's what his hair does all the time, but it seems to be doing it a little bit more aggressively and glowing brighter. Takes like another step back when he sees that. Zero. Just trust me and give me the heart. Only for a moment, I'll give it back. He very slowly took, takes it out of his bag and hands it over. He very calmly grabs it and puts it in this um, double-wrapped bag and then hands it back to you. Here, there's a couple of extra things in there, though. You can't hear the whispers anymore. Are you feeling better? He seems very, like, relieved. The kind of relieved, like, you get home from, like, work and lay in your bed for the first time kind of relieved. Right. Like a wave <coughs> of cool wash, kind of. Yeah. And he just sat down. Uh, what would you like to do, um... What's your fucking name? Uh, Irene. Irene? Yeah. Damn. I just known the character for like two days. Give me a fucking break. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> two days too many. She... Are the... Uh, she looks around some of the areas to see if there's any, like, people. Yeah, there's nobody. Anywhere. Like, no corpse or anything? It's just nobody? No. Not even a skeleton or dust. After relaxing for a bit, uh, Zero is going to get up and search for traces of any magic. Okay. And uh, what were you saying? Hmm? Uh, Trey, what were you going to say? Oh, I didn't say anything. Okay. Uh, Zero, you look for trace magic, and there has been magic used. Not powers, magic. Magic used recently. Well, I guess your whole illusion theory might be right, because I can sense some magic afoot here. Magic I haven't been afoot. used recently. Magic afoot. <laughs> now you've got a very, very exhausted tyrant on your hands. <laughs> You know, something interesting about demon hearts is that they only come from the core. They, they only come from dark rins from the core. Dark rins from the lower levels are called demons. Technically. Because they aren't technically dark rins, they're just humans or creatures that have evolved to look like dark rins. Mm. So this thing wow, that's an being on fact, Fritz. No, I, what I'm saying is this thing being close to the sur this closest to this. Fuck! This close to the surface doesn't make any sense. 
<laughs> why did I sound like a uh, why did I sound like a car horn for a second? <laughs> what? <laughs> Fuck! <laughs> oh my god, please clip that, bro. Oh my god, Yo, I'm screaming at the chat to clip that. Clip that. Chat, clip that shit. I, there's I see no what you're talking about, though, Fritz. Yeah, it's just kind of weird that they're... This close to the surface, lower levels. <laughs> yep. It's like the gate we stumbled across was like one of the deepest ones we could have found into hell. Yeah, that too. No, yeah, you're right. Probably why we got noticed so quickly. <clears throat> uh, the... Chains of Despair are the highest is the highest level to the underworld. It's Yo. the uppermost, from what I know. Yo, uh, I want a cool font, bro. Shit. Just Hold go on. for a font generator. I got you, I got you, I got you. Let me get that yeah, noble ain't ass font. Yeah, bro. I want a cool font. Let, let me get that noble ass font, bro. Pull up. Straight cursive, bro. Like that's that was straight cursive. Like, <laughs> like that's that's <laughs> no, bro. Not that enchantment table ass shit. Bro. <laughs> uh. Yo, put his name in Wingdings, bro. <laughs> Wingdings. There's no fucking way you just said that shit. What about this? That second one looks really good. Wait, actually, wait. Hold on. Yeah, the second one. Alright, let's continue with the session. Okay, okay. Holy sh- holy whoa, why is I lost? Wait a while! Oh my god, bro. What in the- <laughs> Yo, what in I'm, the recording. I'm recording. What I'm recording. I am recording! Carter! Stop saying stupid shit, I'm recording! <laughs> okay, um- Oh my god. <laughs> you have said so much shit that's gonna get your ass banned, bro. Damn. <laughs> yeah, I'm chilling. I ain't responsible for what you say, Cuh. You gonna ban little old me? No, dude. I'm gonna ban you. Damn, there's Man, your thanks, kick ass fun. <sighs> Alright, back into this session. Uh, y'all do notice a bunch of crows flying around and shit like that. I really don't like crows. Why not? You don't? I'll tell you about it later. Why not now? <coughs> because I'm trying to figure out where this magic residue is from. I mean, the crows might know. But you want me to ask the birds because I'm part bird? I didn't say that, but yeah, sure. That sounds racist. <laughs> hey, he said it to him. He said, he set himself up. Okay, he said it, not me. I could come up with a racist joke for half, for whatever you are, I would, but I don't, I can't. Yeah, it doesn't, it doesn't, doesn't need to be racist. You can literally be anything. What? What? What the fuck? Anyway. Wow. wow. I don't really know what we're supposed to do now. I'm not the best tracker. I'm not the best tracker either. Um, I'm not either. Fritz, get the sniffing. Get the sniffing. I can't sniff anything. What, you're sick? What? Wow, man. Oh, I'm gonna beat your ass, Irene! I'm gonna kick your ass, dude! Wow, real ladies, man. I know, right? There, there. I haven't killed anybody yet. 
I need you to track. I need you to track it down for me, okay? You know what I need you to track down? Zero. What do you need me to track down? A valid reason to keep talking because I haven't fucking found one. You clearly don't have one. Irene doesn't have one. I need to find a valid reason for you to keep talking, Zero. That shit's driving me nuts, bro. I need you to track down some maidens. <laughs> <laughs> I have been here for 17 years alive. Less time than you have. And, uh, I've already got more bitches than you, bro. If anybody needs maidens, it's you. Well, that's not really my fault, bud. Piss, boys. Rip the echo. Fuck was that? <laughs> it was me. It was just, just me, piss boy. Piss boy. Piss boy. Piss boy. Okay. No, I'm just fucking with you. <laughs> you okay, Zero? He kind of like yawns like for a really long time. Yeah! <laughs> 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 One of them good ass yawns with the stretch that gets your legs shaking, bro. That shit's oh so God. good. <laughs> For real. <laughs> I'm so glad you guys don't know. Not Jigsaw, you tweaking. I'll just put your face in the tournament slot on a shark. I don't know who to kill. Oreo Tenmetsu. Let's continue with the session, bro. <laughs> what are we gonna do then? I mean, like, we're still chilling out here. It's up to y'all guys what you wanna do. I can't fucking dictate the story for you. I'm just giving y'all shit to look at. The fuck? If we had a home <coughs> to go back to, I would suggest we go there. But, unfortunately, as you can see, yeah. we're homeless. Yeah, we're all homeless. So because this village was fake and there was no quest there could and it looks like these ruins are very old. We could be months away from the closest civilization if there even is one on this continent. There's nothing certain here. He seems like very stressed about it. Like he's not usually like a person to stress over things, but he probably just is because like he kind of feels like it's his fault. Yo, Zero, we'll be fine, man. We just got to keep trucking forward. Nothing is as bad as it feels right now. Look, the worst thing is, we don't have a house. That's it. Other than that, nothing's actually happening. I mean, we can look around outside the village for any more clues. Clues of what? Well, you, uh, um, there was traces of magic here, according to Zero. So, could there be any, like, any magic that's, like, that leads somewhere, leads outside the area. Zero? What's going on? Did you hear what uh, Trey said? Uh, no, not really. Uh, can you check if there's any, like, magic that leads outside the village? They might find a... You won't <coughs> find a trail. 
trail. Yeah. He closes his eyes for a minute and tries to sense out like a path of magic residue that'll maybe lead to the caster. There is an Arcanum trail um, off in the distance going north of the, of the uh, town. Zero begins to follow the path. Just, like, immediately, like, without even saying anything. Irene follows. Uh, Fritz follows behind, just very calmly. <clears throat> Following She's this path for, like, uh, the path continues on for a few miles. Yo, is, is he still dragging the, the mimic dude? <laughs> <laughs> no, he kind of set him down at the town and then, like, kept walking. Okay. Yeah, he'll probably, like, set up there somewhere, but... Yeah, let's just keep following this path. Alright. Uh, following the path, you walk in between these two mountains, and it reveals this large, divided area. Um, and then off in the distance, uh, sitting atop a mountain, almost as if from Skyrim itself, you see this giant, magical, like, tower kind of like school looking place it looks like the college of winterhold kind of but not well, exactly looks, i'm gonna go ahead and guess that the trail leads up there but that's a little bit overkill for a small tiny village in the middle of the woods don't you think a little bit I got so oh oh you got what <laughs> oh, never mind fucking oh. ad bro Let, let's uh yeah, let's let's head up to that tower. I bet. I. Uh, beginning to walk over to the tower, you see a bunch of people in like long robes and stuff like that. Real like ironic magic shit. Oh, this is, um, I didn't really expect this. Well, I don't know what I expected, but. It's kind of weird, I'm not going to lie. I'm not used to the latent magic. I mean, Fritz, you yourself said something about not showing your magic to other people. So, I kind of just grown used to that. Well, not showing your abilities. Magic is different. Magic is something you display. I see. Yeah. I'm still a little uncomfortable here, though. <coughs> As uh, some of the people are looking around at you, um, but nobody really does anything or says anything. I'm gonna, even though there's a ton of magic and it's harder, I'm gonna try to follow the same trail. Following the trail, it leads into the, um, area. The, it leads into the gates as they are shut. Well, but unless you guys feel like sneaking into... Wizard Tower Academy. Here. <laughs> Wizard like, Tower Academy. I don't exactly think there's anything <laughs> else we're left it here to do. I mean, this isn't this area heavily guarded, though. Unless you think that somebody in here still wants this thing I have, I have that keeps whispering to me. Well, not anymore, but you get it. Uh, somebody opens up the gate and then walks through it and just stands in front of you guys. Can I help you? He says. Oh, hold on. Um. Yeah, we're looking for somebody that had a request. Did anybody here put out a quest recently? 
No. I don't think so. That is so weird. You guys um, aren't okay. from here, clearly. So what's your business, exactly? Zero's kind of gonna explain the whole situation about, like, the magic trail and the fake town and everything to him. But he's gonna leave the detail about the the demonic orb out of the question for, a, for now. Okay, so let me get this straight. You walked into a town, met a lady, it, you did, met a lady, came back after the long quest, um, and then the village was gone, destroyed. It's like it, it's like it's been, it was destroyed and it was never a town. Where were you guys? It, point, I guess, in the direction. He gestures down to the, uh, forest once they came. That's Lacroma Village. It's... It was destroyed by a dragon many years ago. Many, that many years crazy. ago. Well, somebody here in this tower used illusion magic on it. And the trail leads in here. Illusion magic is banned at this college. Well, high school. College well, I guess school. you've got a pro I guess both of us have problems on our hands then, don't we? What is your problem? We need somebody to give this quest item to. And you guys have an illusion magic caster on your hand. Why do you need to give the quest item away? Well, to complete the quest, obviously. Yeah. Well, maybe you don't need to give it away. I mean, depending on what it is, it could benefit you more than the quest thing, right? Oh, I'm sure I don't want this. I can take it off your hands if you don't mind. I am the dean at this high school, so it will go to a safe place. Yeah, I know. I'm not Zero. some big dude with a giant staff and a long white beard. Yeah, Zero looks over at Fritz, kind of like wondering if he should like show this object to him. Fritz is just like drooling. Uh, he is not paying attention to you guys. It seems he's looking off somewhere else. He, he mumbles this fucking idiot and then kind of <laughs> just like looks back over at the dude. You, like... you feel Fritz slowly turn towards you as he says, I am not a fucking idiot. <laughs> I am not oh. an idiot. Yeah, whatever you say, blue hair. And then he just kind of <laughs> reaches into his bag. Bro! Zero! He, he grabs what? your chin and pulls your head towards him as you see this girl off in the distance. As Fritz just says, you see what I was talking about? Damn! <laughs> Do you see what I mean? Yeah, uh, yeah, hand, hand off my chin, brother. <laughs> my bad, you have a tiny ass chin, by the way. Yeah, I get it, buddy. <laughs> Twinkle chin! <laughs> um... Mason kind of takes up. Mason, uh... Oh, 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 oh. The dean at the high school looks over at you, Irene, and says, Is this normal for them? Was was the hot was the hot plant bitch, like, Bro. relevant to what's happening? <laughs> no, not really. <laughs> Just an excuse for Fritz to ignore you. Uh, Irene, um... What is it you would like to do? This guy is just sitting here, kind of staring at you, asking if this behavior is normal. She, she um, pinches the, um, pinches between her eyebrows and nods her head. Yes, this happens. Funny. <sighs> okay. As, uh, You're Zero, yeah, go ahead. The, uh the orb and shows it to them all right um should we show this somewhere where there's no wandering eyes around 
This man notices the glow of the orb, snaps, and y'all appear in this large library where these, like, gates kind of shut down over the doors. Where'd you get... So, go ahead. By, by just looking at these precautions, I'm going to go ahead and guess you have two problems on your hands now, don't you? <laughs> uh, not exactly. Um, may I ask, where'd you get that? Um, a cave? Yeah, let's just say a cave. A cave. Found it on an altar. I think I might know who done it. Who did the illusion thing. I just didn't think that he would do that. Well, that's a twist. Well, according, according to this orb, which has been annoying me for the past um, couple hours. Can you shut? Push, push. No, it has been a few hours. It's like, it took a while to travel. Yeah, for the past couple hours, <coughs> the, the effects that this thing can give are mostly... Demonic, of I, course. Yeah, I know the effects. 